our lions are just sitting and you can see the cubs are watching the adults the adults are walking down the road and it looks like they're going to go into the impenetrable fortress that is on the right hand side here they keep staring in there and earlier when i drove past here there was a nyala down here so i wonder if they're not stalking a nyala that's inside but if they go into there it's going to be impossible for us we will not be able to get in there with them and be able to follow them at all so hopefully they just walk parallel with it but you can see amber eyes look at how she's getting low to the ground she's slinking along and look how fast she walks she's always on a mission amber eyes she seems to always be getting up to something and she's the last one all the other lionesses have already gone in that direction and have moved off into that thicket so i'm going to try and just catch up with them the cubs have all laid down as though they can see now that the adults are serious about something and so hopefully they'll just stay there for now and bring the lionesses back to them just now let's see There's one lioness lying over there. Now, Mita, who's eight years old. Mita, you want to know how many of the cubs are male and how many of them are female? Mita, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. I've Every time I see them come up, I get so excited I forget to actually sex them. So some of you out there might know and can help myself and Mita out and let us know how many you think. But I think it's, it's five females and one male, but I could be wrong. There might be two males. But there's definitely one little boy inside there and the rest there's quite a few females as well so i think it's it's either four and two or five and one um but i'm sure some of you out there may be able to help us like i say i always just get so into the fact that i'm seeing the Nkuma pride that i forget to actually sex them meter so it's my fault and hopefully we will be able to sort of count them today maybe today is the day that we make 100 percent sure and you can help me do it when the little cubs come past us if they do now you can see this is the lioness with the little hole on her tail and the one that's battling a little bit in terms of that wound now i think abel wants to get past me so i'm just going to move quickly seb to let him pass us thanks abel i mean aubrey not abel aubrey sorry <laughs> I said Abel, but I meant Aubrey. I don't know why I said Abel. For some reason, my mind is not working the way it should be. Sir Ranjit from India, you wanted to know if there's any way that you can age a male or female lion. Well, it depends... Um, I mean, it's, it's not easy and it's a rough estimate that you can make given their size the yellowing of their teeth um, the color of their nose can sometimes be an indication not always but sometimes so it just depends on those factors but um, with males also size of the mane size of the body can help you in term in determining what the lion's age is but it's not exact science and I've seen lions with very small manes that are actually quite old and with very 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 pink noses and so you can't always use those but generally if you look at the sort of coloration of the teeth the more yellow the teeth are the older that lion or lioness is and then also mane size does help with that size of the body ear condition of the ears color of the nose all of those linked together can give you a fairly good indication of how old a individual is and like I say it's a rough estimate now we're going to stay with our Nkuma pride for as long as they'll allow us because I don't think we're going to be able to follow them for the next I would say 10 minutes if they start moving because this thicket on our left hand side is literally impenetrable and so while we do that let's go across to Ali who I believe has got three of the most beautiful raptors anyone could wish to see. <laughs> 